Hey everyone! So today I thought that I would show you my interpretation of the Summer Brights trend using uh, complementary colors. So I have blue on the, my eyes. I'm using kind of a turquoisey Tiffany blue and then a true blue. And then on my cheeks and my lips I have apricot colors. And if you want to get this look, just keep on watching. So I already primed my eye and now I'm going to take my sorry, Makeup Forever flash color case and I'm going to take the really pretty like Tiffany blue color and I'm going to blend that into my eyelid with my finger. Just the tiniest amount. Just enough to give the color an extra base because we don't want to cause creasing because this is a oil-based product. So just bringing it a little bit above the crease. I'm going to take it around the corner and under a little bit like that. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, base shadow brush from uh, Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman. And we're going to take Aquadisiac by MAC, which is this bright Tiffany blue color in the middle, kind of a robin's egg blue. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid and into my inner corner. And you want to bring that just slightly above the crease. And we're just going to bring this around the inner corner of the eye and underneath. And don't worry too much if you get a little bit too much in the inner corner because we're going to clean up with concealer after this. And you want to bring this about halfway across the bottom lash line. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Sigma E45, which is like a pointed crease brush. Uh, I think it's called Small Tapered Blending. And we're going to take this color from the Urban Decay NYC palette, which is called Radium. And it's just like a royal blue color with some shimmer. We're gonna get that on our brush and we're just gonna run that into the crease. So, just gonna run that into the crease. And bring it in. Just try to be as soft as you can with this and then bring it underneath as well. Very softly, because you don't wanna weigh the eye down with color. And, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush and we're just going to go around the edges and bring that down. We want to have like a nice soft fade like we do on this side. So we're going to do that and then if you feel like you've lost too much color you can go back in with your other brush with whatever's left on it and add some more in because we do want to have that nice definition. And then we can go back in with our, uh, our brush <laughs> and uh, blend out that edge again. And you can blend out as many times as you need to. Also, you can blend under the eye if you think that your color went a little bit too low. So um, just kind of make sure that it's like a halo of blue around your eye as opposed to like a block. Um, so just going to keep blending that out. Okay, so um, after this, we're going to take our um, Sigma E50, which is just a big, flat, fluffy brush, and I'm going to take the lightest highlight color from the Mysterious Brown Eyes palette from NYX, and um, it's that one right next to the purple color, and I'm just going to place that right under my brow as the highlight and blend downward. So we're going to take the um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero, and we're just going to tight line our upper lash line. all the way down into the corner. And then um, on the lower lash line, I'm going to use my um, MAC Lip Pencil in Naked. And um, I'm just, just a little disclaimer here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is eye safe. I've never had a problem with it, but um, I also don't have any eye sensitivity, ugh, sensitivity problems like um, contact lenses, previous corneal abrasions. So, I am a pretty good candidate for putting weird things in my eyes. You may not be, so just use your judgment and be careful. So I'm going to put this in my lower waterline, just as to brighten it up without looking unnatural the way white can sometimes. Okay, so there is our brightened up waterline. And then the next step is just to do mascara. And I'm using Maybelline 1x1 Lash Mascara. 
and I really want to build up my eyelashes and make them like super thick and chunky like kind of 1960s style because I think that would really complement the simple like wash of color on the eyelid so sorry I'm looking down at a weird angle I'm just using my compact mirror to do my mascara So that's like one coat and we want to add another coat just and this time just really get it wiggled back and forth and really build. Okay, so there we go. I'm, I'm liking that. Okay, so um, our eyes are finished now except for um, I want to take the, um, the uh, Real Techniques brush from Samantha Chapman and it's the deluxe crease brush but I like to use it for my concealer because it's like really densely packed and it's great for mineral powders which is what I use for my concealer I use my bare minerals foundation in um, golden fair so I'm just gonna take some of that on my brush and I'm just gonna work that under the eye and really buff it out and I don't have any foundation on my skin right now because I thought that this look would go really well with like fresh clean skin I just moisturized and I've been using Jergens Natural Glow um, moisturizer for my face and um, so I've got like a little bit of a tan going on and then we just want to blend this out as well as we can because it is a little bit light for me right now but it does um, Kim Kardashian and celebrities like that and also I think Megan Fox um, do the much lighter concealer under their eyes and then they do it in this kind of triangle shape and it really brightens up their face. So I'm going to take my other Bare Minerals brush, my little uh, full flawless face brush, and just kind of blend out the edge of that without applying any extra product. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other Bare Minerals blush, bleh, brush, and uh, this is the flawless face brush, and I'm just going to use this for my bronzer. And I'm just going to use my Sephora bronzer in um, Bahamas, which is this color right here and you can tell that I love it because I've hit pan massively I use it almost every day and I'm just gonna get a bunch of that on my brush and I'm just gonna do light contouring not super defined just like in the in the parts of my face that should sink in a little bit and then around my hairline because I have a giant forehead I always make really weird faces when I contour by the way if you are new to my videos and you haven't noticed I look like making duck face, like, mm, like you know, when people do that and then they hold up a peace sign and you're like, what are you doing? That doesn't look cool in pictures. Yep. And then I'm going to take some down the neck because I don't want it to look like I have a weird line. Oh, and FYI, I've already done my brows. I kind of was going to just do my brow on this eye because this was the, like, before the tutorial eye. And then I just completely um, forgot that I wasn't doing the other eyes, so I did my brows already. Um, sorry. I used the um, Makeup Forever um, in 147 eyeshadow and then Perversion from uh, Makeup Forever, and then I just blended them together because they're like my perfect colors. Um, I'm going to now take the um, Illamasqua Powder Blush in Excite, which is this orange color, and tragedy of tragedies, I cracked it while I was trying to depot it so I had to repress it with alcohol so it looks really wonky but still just as pretty and I'm gonna use this angle brush because it's what I have and just gonna smile and put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and I love doing this putting complementary colors on eyes and cheeks um, especially blue and orange I think it's such like a powerful combo I adore it and then for the lips, I'm really excited about because I just got this lipstick from MAC and I absolutely adore it. Sorry if you heard my family yelling in the background. They're really good about that, you know. So um, this is the Sheen Supreme in Got A Dash and it's like this really nice, like bright, crazy orange color. I absolutely adore it, especially with the eyes because of the complementary-ness of it. So I'm um, just going to apply that. No lip liner. This is like a really nice sheer like gloss stick type lipstick. I love it. Also, yay, massive flake on my lip. 
now here's the finished look so I have some like apricot orange cheeks uh, coral lip and these uh, turquoise and blue eyes and uh, that is my interpretation of the Summer Brights trend, and I hope you liked it and that you'll try it out. Bye!